hello Lynette here and welcome to my channel I'm here to show you my latest journal which is a dragon journal I've been asked to create this so it was a bit exciting and at the end of the video I will walk through how I've made it so the tassel We've got some beautiful antique pearl buttons. I did put a wing on here because I thought, you know, some dragons have wings. And some beautiful reds and blacks and golds, some glitter. I, I think that dragons are quite magical, so I think of glittery, magical sorts of things. And I think there's some dragons that also love jewels so i just popped quite a few little bits and pieces on so a bit of bling doesn't go astray for a dragon i don't think so this cover i have created from scratch <clears throat> and i have some leather to bound it as a closure the leather is three pieces of different leather that I've just plaited together to create something a little more textural and the colours go quite perfectly and this the gold leather actually has a bit of bling in it as well a bit of glitter gold <coughs> excuse me so I have purchased an eye off Etsy and absolutely love them and I've gone and done a bit of research on how to get the scale look and had a lot of fun with it. It's just over A5 size with lots of texture and yummy, yummy bits of crackle and colour and yeah, it's just, I've gone with a <clears throat> curved spine, which is actually a blind spine as well. And I created a kit to go in this journal as well, which I haven't put up online as yet because I might add to it yet. I'm not sure. So I've found some free images of dragons and I've just made a kit out of it with some castles as well because the lady that's asked me to create this wanted a dragons and castle ruins. So I've got a little saying on some dragons which I've put the author's name in as well and there's a little bit of a faded dragon here on the vellum. And I've got some castles through here. I've made up some painted, I've painted over some lace and some um, paper just to sort of have a bit more of the skin of the dragon, maybe the belly of the dragon on the inside so that it was also through the journal. I've got some dragon eggs on a card and all my cards have tea dyed paper on the back of them and lots of little bits and pieces. There's a little booklet, some this beautiful tag with this gorgeous gold ribbon. I don't know if you can see that really well. It's just gorgeous. So one of the images from my the kit that I've made up and some more tags. A little dragon that I just printed myself. Some little pockets. And these papers here I have made personally. So they're all very unique with different sprays. And I just love the different texture in them all got a stone dragon which is the other side of that one of the other oh it's down a bit further actually so there's also some empty pockets 
some lovely papers, another dragon, lots of writing space, which is great for a journaler, some little tags, and some lovely paper clip beads so with the jewels on them and these beautiful papers a bit of the the skin and just quite grungy but really magical I feel another postcard that I've made up Beautiful textured papers. There's another little dragon saying. And we've got the gold in the background here. So there's also some flecks of gold through a lot of the papers I made up. This is a witch background. Which goes with dragons and castles and... All that error so it's quite a few pockets side pockets and some empty ones as well look at the gold and the, the grays and everything in that it's just gorgeous some moon moon dragons and just some paper beautiful different textures and a bit of purple and gold just really gorgeous flecks of detail through it all and I've used the red in this journal because we've got red in the cover of the dragon so I've got some embellishments through with the red and just taken that through the whole journal another little clip there a couple of paper clips with jewels on them there's another tag this gorgeous dragon egg so this was so much fun to create I've always loved dragons I don't know if you can see very well, but there's a dragon there in the sky. It's a little booklet with the dragon skin. You can just fold out. And another little tag. Plenty of tags throughout to write on the back of. How gorgeous is this in the misty green forest? This dragon sitting on the castle. So I've put all these together in Photoshop, which was a lot of fun in itself. Some more little booklets with the dragon skin there. It's a little bead with a made with love it's another little booklet a couple of little tags and this little castle folds down it's a center page in another green forest there's another little booklet some beautiful papers and a bit of the castle in behind. Little tags and another postcard. And then the back. So the texture, there's a lot of texture on the back as well. Here's some of this is what I've done with what which I'll be putting in my next dragon journal so I've got a piece of gold paper 
and put some tissue on it and then with the um, the paste the molding paste I've just put some dots over there as well and then just painted it to get that beautiful texture in the background so the back of the journal also has plenty of texture and we have the three signatures which you've seen and lots of little bits coming out the sides and I love it I really do I'm really happy with how it's turned out and I'm pretty sure that this beautiful lady that has ordered it is going to be thrilled so to show you a little bit of what I've done to make this as I said the insides I started with the card and put texture on and then I've gone with the skin that I've used on the inside in different places um, this is the color for my next journal so this journal here I've used a red background and then I've gone and put some gold and copper over the top of it so my next journal is a purple underlay of color and then I've gone and put the other colors on top with the purple coming through so I have my signature ready my my signatures ready for my next journal to go in and the inside of the cover is just a cereal box it is so it's fairly soft cover because it's just a rice bubble puffs cereal cover that I've put together and I've used a paper towel on the inside the the tube of a paper towel and put that together and then I have painted it black with gesso and then I have started creating this beautiful dragon cover so what I have done with both of them is used tissue to scrunch up or I've also tried one with a bit of the lunch paper or baking paper and I've scrunched it up and then PVA'd it on top of the cover and then I have also used the tissue and rolled it at times for the eye in different places and then sort of built it up underneath this little eggshell here and then what I've gone and done is laid the eggshell on in different places as you can see and with PVA glue I've put the PVA glue down first and then laid it on top and then you need to let it dry because going over it then it moves so then I've got quite a thick layer of PVA glue over top of everything and I worked out that you need to do that a couple of times if not three times and then I've gone and done a black gesso and got it into all the little bits and cr um, creases and the little nooks and crannies and then I have also gone and PVA'd it again so that there is no movement and then I've gone and done another little bit of the black gesso and then I've gone and put either the purple or the red so I've used an, these two here purple and the red for the different um, covers and then I've gone and done a little light dusting of the black gesso again and then I've used this beautiful metallic wax here to get the that gorgeous bronzy look and it is just absolutely beautiful 
and I've also used this green one as well the gilders paste wax which smells like shoe polish but is quite lovely and that's giving it the darker and that little grungy green sort of look through it and then I have just sprayed it with a matte finish so that's how I have made these two gorgeous covers. This one has already been purchased. And this one here will be going up on my Etsy shop once I've finished. And I think I'll make a couple more because I love them. They're just gorgeous and a lot of fun to do. So with the eggshells, I've washed them and then pulled out the little membrane on the inside of the shell and then washed them again then just let them dry for a few days so it's a lot of fun i really really enjoyed making these and we'll definitely be making some more so thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video